welcome to Travel Discovery. I am Lisa and I will be your host. Today we're going to talk about seven mistakes people make when booking travel through third party websites. Expedia, Booking.com, Trip.com, Priceline. These days, there are countless third-party platforms for booking flights, hotels, rental cars, and other aspects of the travel experience. While these websites can make the planning process feel more seamless and convenient, there are some potential drawbacks that are important to understand before you make any reservations. Mistake number one, assuming they have the lowest prices. You're going to often see the same costs across platforms, including the travel vendor's direct website. While coupons and other promotions can make it appear that you are saving a lot of money, you should always check directly with the airline or hotel. When booking a flight, you should check the prices on the airline websites as well as results on search engines like Google Flights. As you look for accommodations, compare rates on hotel websites and third-party booking systems. In many cases, hotels will guarantee the cheapest rate when booking directly with them. In certain situations, third-party booking sites will hide resort fees until the very last moment or put them in an easy-to-miss spot. Mistake number two, losing 24-hour cancellation options. You should not book airfare with an online travel agency if there is a chance you may take advantage of the federal 24-hour cancellation rule. The U.S. Department of Transportation has mandated that air carriers allow customers who purchase tickets at least seven days before a flight scheduled departure to cancel their reservation and receive a full refund without penalty within 24 hours of booking. Mistake number three, not reading the fine print. Always read the fine print so that you know their return or refund policy. For added protection, book with travel credit card that has insurance in case something goes wrong. If you're not booking for a deal, it's always best to book direct on the company website. It's likely cheaper to book direct anyhow. If you find a super cheap flight, check the fine print. Usually there's a charge for overhead and checked luggage. Tip number four, missing out on loyalty points. If hotel or airline loyalty points and status are important to you, using third-party booking site might not be the best move. Many online travel agencies let you insert your frequent flyer number or hotel rewards number, but that does not mean you will earn status credits and points. Some airlines and hotels will allow you to earn status when booking with online travel agencies, but you should make sure first. Mistake number five, trying to modify bookings through the travel provider. In other words, your reservation is with them and not the airline or hotel. That means you contact them for customer service instead of the airline or hotel. Mistake number seven, choosing a travel provider that doesn't allow third-party sales. For example, Ryanair, technically they don't allow third-party sales of their tickets. If you book their flights to a third party anyway, then this is done through a workaround that's not supported by Ryanair. And mistake number seven, not reading the reviews. Check reviews of third-party sites on Trustpilot before booking as some of them are to be avoided. Also look into travel insurance and check with your credit card to see if they provide any travel insurance services. So please avoid these seven mistakes when booking travel through third-party sites. Thank you so much. Happy travels to everyone. Please check us out next time on Travel Discovery to see what we'll discover next. I'll leave you with some beautiful images of Italy. Please remember to like and subscribe.